will vaccination lower your risk of infection with SARS-CoV-2? Even today, the answer is yes, it will, right? If you take eight individuals that got the reason boosters or 10 individuals of the reason boosters and you expose them all to SARS-CoV-2, right? Maybe three of them will get infected. You do the same with, in a population where 10 individuals have not received the booster, right? Maybe five of them will get infected, right? In both groups, people will get infected, right? But there are less in one group and the other group, which means that you lowered your risk of getting infected in the first place. The other thing you lower is that like, well, but maybe you do get infected, but now your immune system is ready to respond pretty quickly, right? Which means that it'll probably resolve that infection faster, faster than if you hadn't got it. And of course, ultimately, it means that like the kind of disease that you're going to experience as part of that infection is overall going to be less. It doesn't mean that you can't get severe disease, right? It doesn't mean that you can't get COVID and feel really awful. And maybe you would think like, I got my vaccine, I got COVID and I still felt like crap, so the vaccine didn't work. It was like, no, the vaccine still worked. And yes, you did feel like crap, but chances are you felt a lot less crap than if you hadn't gotten your vaccine in the first place.